Hello all. I came across a DVD today, which I rented from uh, my local Rogers video, entitled Endgame. Um, let me make sure I can get this into the screen here. Uh, sorry, that's the barcode. Yeah, there it is. Endgame. A uh, film from 2007. Uh, in it, Alex Jones, a reporter from the United States, um, goes on to explain uh, about how um, a group called the Bilderberg Group, uh, uh, t some of the top tw 200 or so powerful elite of the world, you know, the banking, the uh, the U.S. government and the well, um, certain elements of the U.S. government, uh, various top politicians, uh, um, Stephen Harper, even in my own country, apparently, have all uh, either addressed this group or spoken with or been at meetings of this group. Um, basically, a top tw uh, twenty powerful elite. Uh, what's interesting is the fact that um, now, apparently, according to this, uh, they're talking that uh, North America is uh, roughly supposed to be going into a union, something similar to what the EU is. And eventually, uh, the United Nations is supposed to uh, become an enforcement body for some sort of new totalitarian world government. Now, I must admit, that does seem a little uh, strong-handed. Uh, strong but in light of what I said in my previous videos about uh, possible elites in the United States like Halliburton trying to take over and stuff like that, it wouldn't be too far-fetched. The only problem which is, uh, again, this is I'm going to say this is entirely a film review. The one bit which they got wrong, I think, in this was the uh, bit pertaining to global warming. Um, they talked about carbon tax and they said the biodiversity, that, that uh, they just released the global biodiversity assessment in 2005 just to, uh, as a consp part of a conspiracy to get people to return, revert to a feudal society. Um, I'd like to speak on the scientific points as the main parts of this issue. Uh, this is for anybody who ever watches this movie. Um, and again, this is more so, again, towards skeptics' arguments pertaining to global warming. I've heard these before. Um, the idea that, uh, that the UN is just trying to create some, uh, you know, part of a conspiracy, get pay scientists to say anything, to uh, create some sort of carbon tax on the public. I'd like to uh, register a couple of things here. The only... Okay. A couple of things. Number one of which is that the bulk of the peer-reviewed literature, not counting what the uh, the, the IC, IPCC has been saying, the NASA to Goddard, Goddard Space Center, and uh, you know basically all the peer actual peer-reviewed literature has stated that this is accurate. There is plenty of science, uh, uh, scientific evidence for global warming, or that we are in, you know influencing an already existing natural phenomena. See my videos: uh, global warming, critical thinking, global warming, critical thinking addendum, and global warming. A look at the science behind it. I've already clear. I've already put this in great detail already as to the actual science as to how this works. Now that being aside, um, the thing, of course, is though is that maybe there is a conspiracy theory, but um, it could be possible as well that they're equally also short term. Um, there is probably a. Uh, they are probably right that uh, that we are that our current pollution that we might be threatening our planet with technology. However, I still think cosmocracy is a better approach. Um, rather than draw, re, trying to revert back to a fuel society, which actually more the environmental eco freaks, the, the left wingers are trying to uh, gain in some cases, and the right wing is just simply trying to say there's no problem with global warming at all. Just keep going. Um, you know, there's uh, what we're looking at here is uh, is what we're looking at here is actually not a. Um, you know, the Bush is actually giving lip service to bulk of this, so I don't. I hardly. I think the bulk of where the real issue is is that global warming does exist, or is you know is influenced highly by us. And what we should be doing is we should be trying to get off planet in order to uh, um, abate these particular issues. So, like I said, just for global warming skeptics, I've already covered this before. Go see my videos pertaining to that. Um, yeah. Anywho, um, on an unrelated note, um, basically uh, my major concern is now is that uh, from having seen this video, I'm. Uh, from having seen this DVD, um, part of it was confirmed. Oh, I should mention that uh, one thing uh, I failed to mention about the other uh, stuff pertaining to the 9-11. Uh, CBC's The Fifth Estate, in their documentary, which basically had debunked the 9-11 conspiracy theories, they did find evidence that George Bush Sr. had been meeting uh, at the New York, uh, in a bank in New York, uh, at, at a building in New York, um, with most of the Bin Laden family, less than a couple of blocks away from where the Twin Towers were hit. And this was a matter of public information. So the thing, of course, is, though, is that it is entirely possible that, um, and this is one of the other things which gets me interested in the possible idea that, um, that an elite uh, is trying to take over the United States and Canada, and, um, again, might be suppressing science and critical thinking, um, and more specifically, um, again, the, uh, the idea, and of course, what I suspect, and this is where my, where my suspicion comes in, is that the idea is where uh, some, of the con uh, some of the conspiracy theorists are basically saying that, uh, that global warming uh, isn't happening or that we aren't influencing it. Um, I suspect that part of where that's coming from, and of course, the moon landing hoax uh, debate has already been dealt with. I mean, that's one which you know, I think could be genuinely considered a conspiracy theory. But um, here's one of the interesting things. 
I suspect that there is a group that's trying to do that, and they deliberately, and here's my suspicion, I deliberately think that they actually tried to spread disinformation about global warming. Yes, that not only did they, uh, they were the conservative corporations on the one hand trying to debunk the whole thing, they also gave that as part of the thing to the conspiracy theorists, uh, to or to those who are who are uncovering their um, their act to um, allow for people to try to continue with their cars. This way, uh, if people go like, "Nah, that'll never happen," or even if they are trying to fight the uh, the global system, they'll still continue powering their cars. This way, if the uh, this way, regardless, the elite will end up destroying the environment, saying, "Well, if we can't have the planet, nobody else can." It's called their fail-safe measure. Anyway, that's just my speculation on all this. Um, but, you know, either way, I've already dealt with the hard science on some of these issues before in my other videos. Um, like I said, that whole thing on the great global warming swindle. Um, like I said, I've already debunked this before. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, again, I hope that people have left some comments on my other videos, uh, particularly ones pertaining to modern morality, that sort of thing, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, so that pretty much deals with that. And um, keep watching the videos. Keep replying. I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Toodles.